Hello, I'm Brian with Truth and Privacy Talks. Today I'm going to talk about emerging technologies that will help reduce congestion, fees, and risk as DeFi rapidly expands. First, let's review some basics. Decentralized finance refers to digital assets, decentralized applications, financial smart contracts, and protocols. Authors often use terms differently and some currencies operate contrary to existing definitions. So here are four guidelines. Cryptocurrencies refer to coins, tokens, and collectibles. Coins have their own blockchain ledgers, while tokens are built on top of existing blockchains. Coins require significant coding, but tokens are easier, often created just by defining parameters. Coins can transfer independently of a project, but tokens usually stay within a project. The most proliferous tokens are based on Ethereum's ERC-20 standard, which has enabled new tokens, projects, and hundreds of coins. However, as authors Casey and Vigna said in The Truth Machine, Ethereum's technology is young, underdeveloped, and buggy. Because it was designed as an all-things-to-all-comers platform, with countless programs built on top of it, there is an inordinately large number of possible attack vectors through which rogue actors can try to harm the network. Does the recent $24 million DeFi flash attack on Harvest Finance validate their assessment? The Verus community believes that critical DeFi functions must be implemented at the protocol level instead of allowing potentially vulnerable apps to be added on top of the blockchain platform. Instead of user-created smart contracts, Verus's smart transactions will provide advanced, consensus-based functions. Think of designing and building your dream car from scratch versus assembling a kit car using critical components from proven manufacturers. Or consider in which hypothetical neighborhood you'd choose to build a house. Ether Estates provides a cleared lot with connections for water, electric, sewer, and internet but the house's safety depends entirely on your design and construction skills. Or Varus Valley, which provides all of that plus prefabricated rooms that you select, assemble, and integrate safely and scalable to your desired size. New capabilities in Varus will allow rapid creation of secure tokens, blockchains, coins, and gateway tokens without programming, complete with infrastructure. This can't be done in Ethereum. You will be able to create your own tokens within five minutes, which will be permissionless and decentralized. You can choose to back them with reserves, limit the supply, or have a launch period. Tokens can be for payments, voting, ticketing systems, crowdsourcing, in-game rewards, celebrity tokens, awards, and more. Soon you'll be able to create your own blockchains without programming wallets or mining algorithms. You won't need to entice miners or nodes and will avoid expensive exchange listing charges and transaction fees. Finally, you'll be able to create gateway tokens to bridge with another blockchain platform. This will allow you to send your tokens so your recipient will get their tokens. The first bridge will be with ERC-20 tokens, with others soon to follow. Again from the truth machine, blockchain-based digital tokens will help us further redefine what money is if we take it to its logical conclusion and software-driven systems can be developed to allow liquid exchanges across digital tokens, we may not need to hold a common currency at all to make exchanges with each other. This is precisely Verus's objective, to allow liquid exchanges across platforms, complete with infrastructure while dramatically reducing costs. Check back as these and other exciting improvements move into mainnet to move many tokens over the line. Thank you for listening. Take care.